Hey gang, welcome back to the 78 RPM channel. In 1924, Paramount Records put Ma Rainey on the label of Paramount 12098. Eventually, they produced three different picture labels, and we're going to look at them today on the 78 RPM channel. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the 78 RPM channel. Whether you're new to 78s or an advanced collector, this is your source for information, research, and music about 78 RPM records, cylinders, and radio transcriptions. Hey gang, welcome back to the 78 RPM channel. The other day, much to my horror, I discovered that a couple of the Paramount records I have on my shelves were out of order. Which, of course, if you know anything about record collectors, you know that means that what we do is we take all of the Paramounts off the shelf, we confirm that they are in order, and then we put them back on the shelf. Well, one thing that that did was it reminded me about the Paramount picture labels. And so today, that's what we're going to talk about. In 1924, Paramount issued with quite a bit of publicity, a lot of fanfare, and a lot of advertising dollars, Paramount 12098. And that disc had Ma Rainey right on the label. The songs were Lost Wandering Blues and Dream Blues, and it makes a pretty good addition to any collection. But the fact that this had this nice blue and gold label with the line drawing of Ma Rainey on it really makes it stand out to collectors, and this is a really good piece in the collection of a lot of blues collectors, both new and basic blues collectors, as well as very advanced ones. So you might be saying to yourself, um, is, is your record cracked? And the correct answer is, yes it is, and I'll tell you why. In spite of what the advertisements and the descriptions on eBay and other websites tell you, this is not a rare record. As far as Paramounts go, this one's relatively common. My estimate would be that there are at least 2,500 copies of this record still floating around out there. As someone who gravitates towards records that exist in less than 100 copies, to me, as far as blues from the 20s go, that's a pretty common record. Because it's a common record, I am unwilling to spend the one to two hundred dollars or more that it's going to cost to get a better copy of this. And you know, one to two hundred is about the average. Uh, nice copies, obviously with clean labels, go for even more than that. But because this record is as common and as frequently encountered as it is, I'm just unwilling to pay that kind of money for it because I think I will probably end up finding another copy. Now the Paramount 12,000 series is what's known as a race series. It was marketed to black families and it contained predominantly black artists. But Paramount did have a series that was really geared toward a white audience as well. That was the Paramount 3000 series, and it contained hillbilly and old time tunes, and it contained predominantly rural white performances. Now looking to repeat the success, and it was a pretty big success, with the Ma Rainey picture label, they did this. This is Paramount's scarcest picture label, and it came out in 1927. This is the Reverend J.O. Haynes, who was a minister from Alabama, and he recorded six sides for Paramount, which they issued on Paramount 3057, 3058, and 3069. The first two of those were issued with this custom label, containing a picture of H.O. Haynes up at the top in grayscale. So, did they manage to duplicate the success of the Ma Rainey disc? Not even close. My estimation would be that for every one of these picture discs, there are 30 to 50 of the Ma Rainey discs with her picture on them. And so this one is much scarcer. Now, while I'm not saying this was a complete failure, keep in mind that Paramount never invited him back to the studio to make more discs, and he never made another recording. Now, while these discs are much scarcer than the Ma Rainey picture label, they're also much cheaper. Nice copies generally sell for around a hundred bucks. If there's any damage to the label or if the disc itself is damaged, you can probably pick one up for 50 bucks if you look around long enough when you can find it. The next year, Paramount decided to try one more time, and this time, they hit it out of the park. This is Paramount 12650. 
This is Piney Woods Money Mama on one side and Low Down Mojo Blues on the other by Blind Lemon Jefferson. If you look closely, it's billed as his birthday record and it contains a nice grayscale photo with a very unique lemon and white background with black print. As many of you know, 12,000 series Paramounts are for the most part scarce. Once you get above 12,500, they start to get more scarce. And this one is 12,650. This is not a disc that sold a ton of copies. On the bright side, enough of these made it out into the public to make this an attainable disc for a lot of blues collectors. But it's going to cost you. Damaged copies of this record with damage on the label still run in the one to $200 range and that's the low end. A V plus copy with clean labels is probably going to be closer to $500. A clean copy with clean labels could be a lot more. The best thing I can do is say that if you're a record junker, keep looking because they are out there. The Ma Rainey and this Blind Lemon Jefferson record were both junked by me many, many years ago. Now, I will admit, the J.O. Haynes record, I purchased through an auction because it is the rarest of the three, and honestly, I didn't fancy my chances of finding a copy out in the wild. Having said that, that doesn't mean I won't be looking for it. Good luck, gang. I hope you find some really good records this week, and if you find a nice Ma Rainey picture label that doesn't have a big crack in it, kind of like mine, let me know. I'll trade you something for it. We'll see you next time on the 78 RPM channel.